Spellbreak has just released to the public as a free-to-play title with crossplay. It's a battle royale in third person where witches and wizards land into a map and collect gauntlets of various spell elements like fire, ice, or lightning. Coming from Proletariat, a studio who worked on streaming-focused titles like Stream Legends and Streamline, it is a project that has been in development for a few years. In today's video, we will cover all the basics you will need to get started in Spellbreak. First, let's cover the unique selling point of Spellbreak, the Spell Gauntlets. At the making of this video, there are six available gauntlets. Earth, Toxic, Lightning, Air, Ice, and Fire. They have fancier names than this, but I'll use the colloquial names to keep it simple. Each gauntlet comes with two spells, a primary attack and an ability. Since gauntlets fit on your hand, and you have two hands, you're able to equip two gauntlets at once. I know, try to contain your shock and surprise. However, you must pick your primary gauntlet before entering the match. This will be in your main hand and cannot be changed during a match, but you will land with it already equipped. Your main hand gauntlet is also your class and allows you to specialize in that element. Leveling up in the match unlocks new bonuses for that element, like your Ice Lance leaving ice trails that you can skate on, or your Toxic Clouds then granting you invisibility when you enter them. Once in a match, you will pick up any of the other five gauntlets you didn't choose to be your offhand weapon. And here's where it gets cool. Mixing elemental effects together has dozens of unique interactions. For example, placing an air tornado on the ground and filling it with fire makes a fire tornado. The aforementioned ice trails can be electrocuted with the lightning gauntlet to shock enemies. But I'll leave the extent of this for another video. Using your primary attack from your gauntlet will drain your mana. Hold jump to hover, which will also drain mana. If your mana reaches zero, it will overheat and force a recharge to full. Your element specialization will grow in strength during the match as you level, and currently leveling is crazy simple. And here's how it works. Each time you enter the safe zone or the white circle on your map, you will level up, and that's it. You will see a yellow barrier in the game world that signifies you're about to level when you pass through it. So you'll naturally level as you chase the safe zone during a match, which means the later into the match you go, the stronger your primary gauntlet will be. You'll find movement abilities as loot, and you can swap these as you choose. They each have their uses and can be powerful in the right situation, so be creative. Health potions and shield potions will drop as loot, and these will keep both your bars full. Amulets increase your maximum mana pool, belts increase your maximum armor, and boots increase your base movement speed. All of these are good things. Legendary chests with the best gear are marked on your map and should be fought over. Talents are selected before the match and start with a flat value. You will find scrolls in the world that level up each category of talent, either mind, body, or spirit. If you die, you will be put into a down state that looks like a wisp. Teammates can come up to you and revive you by channeling on you, and likewise, enemy players can walk up to you and execute you. Once executed, there's currently no coming back. Lastly, choosing a drop at the start of a match is predetermined, so be sure to coordinate with your teammates before the timer ends. And that's all the basics for Spellbreak. I hope this video was short, to the point, and useful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you in the next one.